Next, I'm going to show you how we can install the embroidery thread color. So by default, when you have the Inkscape, um, if you come all the way to this uh, lower corner to the right side and click here, you'll see these are the color that comes with the ink stitch. So these are the color palette you want. It's there. But if you're working with the uh, ink stitch, you want to have the specific color thread. So you can come here on the thread color management and set thread color pair for ink scale. So we can click on that. And it's, it's, it's take a little bit while, so it comes out and then it will uh, install the thread color from many different manufacturers uh, for, for your Inkscape. So when, when it does that, after it's finished, so you have to restart it, uh, the Inkscape, and then you have access to all those um, uh, Inkscape, um, all those thread colors. So I'm going to wait until it comes up and <clears throat> so yeah it comes up here so hopefully it's started so you yeah, just when it comes click install and so it's done so now you have to again if you come here click it is not there so you restart in script and then when you click it it's gonna be uh, there, so I'm gonna restart in scape and I will come back when it restart. So, there I re, uh, restarting in scape. Now, if I come here and click on this color palette, you can see all those ink stitch color palette is installed. So, they're marked by ink stitch, and then this is the name of the manufacturer. For example, if I come here and say I want a broader embroidery. Uh, can click on that or uh, any uh, other one so I'll just click on that and then you'll see so it's gonna gives me this color palette here uh, something that you can do usually is that you can go all the way down and if you go all the way down it will gives you this configure button so you can come here if you want you can change the size of them so you can see them better or you can change the border so you can see them better if, if you want or um, add the number of rows for example to in case that you want them you can also do that so now you have uh, the thread color here so when whatever you are drawing so you can assign for example that thread color so if I come here and so if I come here draw anything and then I will go ahead and want to make it for example red so I will make it red and this is the red uh, color for from the uh, broader embroidery color set so this is how we can add the thread color